This is The Secrets of Writing a Research Paper. Hello and welcome. I'm Mr. Ewing. I know all the secrets of producing an excellent research paper. So, beginning with this lesson, I'll let you in on all the secrets and guide you through every step of the process. So let's get started with lesson one, introduction to a research project. Now, the process is easy if you break it up into steps. It can seem like a, a really Herculean, humongous task, but if we break it up into a research phase, a phase to organize, a phase to write, a phase to polish, and a phase to revise, then the project is much more manageable. Now, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. So let's jump right into it. The first thing you should do is gather your materials. Now, when I'm telling my students to get ready for the research project, there are five very important materials that I tell them to get. First is a research packet. Uh, now, I provide my students with a research packet with lots of information and templates uh, in there, but you could also grab a notebook or some paper um, and use that as your research packet. You're always going to need a pen or pencil, so grab a couple of those and put them with these materials. You'll also need note cards. Now, these could be note cards you go to the store and buy, little three by five note cards, or as I often do when I'm doing my own research, and many of my students do this as well, we get some paper and we cut out squares. They don't have to be perfectly three by five, but as long as they're squares and they're roughly all about the same size, you're good to go. Uh, get a rubber band or even a paper clip so you can keep all of those note cards together. You're also gonna need a container. Uh, my students use a three ring notebook where they keep their research packet, their pen or pencil, there's usually a sleeve to keep the note cards in. Um, so everything that they need and everything you need is in one spot. Uh, you could also use a trapper keeper or some type of bag or a box. Uh, just have a container to keep all these materials in. And lastly, you will need access to an electronic device. I typically like to use a computer when I'm doing research but you can just as easily use any other electronic device that is connected to the internet. Now, once you have all those things, you should go ahead and read the prompt for your research project that has been provided to you by your teacher. Three things you should focus on when you read the prompt. One, you wanna understand the expectations. What is the teacher, what is your teacher asking you to do? What does the final product look like? What checkpoints or what goals, what expectations do you have to meet along the way to producing that final product? Identify questions that you have and ask them of the teacher. And then finally, you should choose or identify a topic based on the prompt. Your teacher may allow you to choose any topic you wish related to the prompt. Some teachers may provide you with a list of topics and you may have to uh, negotiate or pick amongst your classmates who gets to do what topic. So have a couple of ideas in mind and run them by your teacher. Once you have done that, you're ready for the third step here in preparing for the research paper, and that is setting goals or deadlines. Now, when I do the research project with my students, I give them checkpoints and due dates to make sure that they are taking the big research project and dividing it up into smaller chunks that are much more manageable. Your teacher may do this, or they may give you a deadline for when the project is due and you have to create these checkpoints and due dates on your own. When you're considering the deadlines, either self-imposed 
or the deadlines your teacher has given you. Think about the time requirements for each part of the assignment uh, and try and estimate you know, how long is this activity going to take. And then think about restrictions you might have. Do you have a concert this week that you're going to be preparing for and having rehearsals for? Do you have sports practices or games? Do you have to work? Um, consider that when you're thinking about these checkpoints and getting your assignments and these components completed. Also consider your internet or device access. You may need to plan some time to go to the library or stay after school with the teacher so you can access a device. And also think about building in time to get feedback or assistance. Now, you don't want to sit down to do something at midnight the day before the checkpoint and figure out that you don't really know how to do it or you need some help. Uh, so build in some time, a buffer, if you will, of a day or two. So if you are struggling or you need feedback or assistance on a component of the project, that you can consult your teacher or another intelligent adult before you miss the due date. And then just uh, plan for unforeseen obstacles. Uh, if your printer explodes into a million pieces or something comes up and you have to work an extra shift, um, try to plan for unforeseen obstacles as much as possible. And again, try to build in a buffer if you can in your calendar. All right. Once you've considered all of that, you can take some action. You could gather your materials, read your research prompt, set goals and deadlines. Now, as always, consult your assignment schedule or check with your teacher to determine exactly what is expected of you next. As we continue to share secrets on how to write a great research paper, Next time, we'll talk about how to identify reliable sources. And coming up soon, we'll talk about how to organize your source information.